everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Night Shift Morph. So this is their rotating IPA series. This is the 825-16 batch, so at time of recording, this is only a month old. So still, crazy, crazy fresh. Gotta give a big shout out to my good friends, Steve and Julie, for hooking me up with a can of this one. So for this beer, they are using Citra Mosaic and Simcoe Hops this go around, which is awesome. Those are three of some of my favorite hop varietals, so I'm really, really looking forward to this one. I've had a couple of Night Shift beers. They have all been really, really good, and this is a really cool series because they always rotate the hops. They always have something different, so you're never getting the same beer twice. Let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Oh, God, that freaking smells awesome. Holy shit. Yeah, up front, tons of pineapple, mango, very, very, like, juicy, bright kind of citrus. Orange peel, a little bit of tangerine, definitely getting a touch of grapefruit. There's definitely some dankness to it, like a really big earthy kind of dank vibe going on. Subtle hint of pine, but mostly pineapple, mango, definitely like some peach, some really sweet, juicy kind of orange. Oh god, yeah, this this smells awesome. Lots of citra, lots of mosaic in this one for sure. Let's go ahead and take our first sip. Oh, wow. Wow, so up front, I actually get more of that kind of earthy dankness right up front. Followed by a lot of peach, grapefruit, very big, like citrus, kind of orange peel type of taste. Oh, wow. That second sip, I'm getting more pineapple. Really, really juicy, too. Almost kind of this orange juice type of taste, but then it also comes full circle again with that kind of big dankness, very earthy. Definitely getting a lot of pine in this one as well. But then you're getting like grapefruit peel, grapefruit rind, and there's a lot of just really sweet, juicy kind of citrus and tropical fruit notes in this one. Oh, wow. That one almost tasted like straight-up grapefruit juice because there's kind of this bittersweet quality to it. But then you're also getting some almost like candied fruit. Like, I almost get like candied oranges, candied grapefruit. You know, it almost kind of tastes like when you have that ruby red grapefruit, you sprinkle a little bit of sugar on it and you eat it afterwards. That's kind of what it tastes like. I also get a little bit of like a citric kind of lemon peel, too. Yeah, this beer is awesome, though. It's kind of funny because it's like a cross between the New England kind of juicy, bright citrus tropical fruit vibe, but you're also getting that dank, piney kind of West Coast vibe out of this one as well. So it's kind of the best of both worlds in a really cool way. It's got a decent level of bitterness. For this being a single IPA, it actually dries it out quite a bit on the back end, so this one's actually decently bitter. Really nice and easy to drink, though. Kind of has this creamy mouthfeel. You know, it's medium-bodied, so it's not too thin, but this one is super-duper crushable. Yeah, this is an awesome, awesome beer. If you guys have had this batch of Morph, or if you've had some of the other Morph series in, you know, from Night Shift, let me know down in the comments below. Or if you've just had some beers from Night Shift, let me know that as well. In terms of rating, guys, I'm going with a 9.3 out of 10. I think this is a great, great beer. If you like the classic combo of Citra and Mosaic and you also like Simcoe, I think this is one is really, really good. Definitely go check it out if you can. Alrighty, guys, that does for this beer review. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button for me, and remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. Cheers.